All right guys, welcome back. Right, this is the second part of the smoothing video. I'm gonna continue smoothing these panels on this Aston Martin DB7 Vantage. And hopefully by the end of this video, these will be ready for pain, fingers crossed. Right, at the end of the last video, I filled this gap in here. Now, this is an aftermarket wing and the fit was pretty poor. And whoever made it, I don't know what they're doing, but they're basically, they cut the panel too short here. So I've had to put some fiberglass glass filler back in to build it back up, purely for decoration purposes. Now obviously it's not very pretty at the minute, but I can sand it down and make it pretty. So I need to mark a line across here where I need to trim it back to, and then obviously sand all this down, and then it's gonna need a little skim of filler just to smooth it off and make it perfect. But already it looks better, just like this. Right, first thing I need to do is I want to trim this bit back here. So to do that, I want to mark it so it's bang on with the other side. I want it to match nicely. So the other side has around an eight mil gap down here. So I'm going to use a ruler, draw a line across here, and then I know where to trim it to. So I'm just going to roughly mark eight mil. This is basically where I need to trim it back to. So my plan is, I'll trim it back with a grinder. I'll use a one millimeter cut of this because I find it cuts fiberglass really well. Then I'll use a sanding block just to shape it and you know perfect it essentially. So before I can do a lot more, I need to remove this front wing. I have no idea why Aston Martin decided to use nuts and bolts to hold the wing on, but they did. There we go, what happened? Right, I've decided it makes more sense to cut this in the garden, because it could be a messy job. Right, I'm really happy with the way it fits now. So now I need to go over the whole thing, well not the whole thing, but the bits are filled with dolphin glaze. Now this is a really fine filler putty um, and it's perfect because you don't get little air bubbles in it or any air holes. So yeah, it's just really good for stuff like this. As you can see, it's really wet stuff, not like normal filler. So it kind of fills all the little cavities really well. Right, I'm gonna leave it like that because otherwise I'm gonna ruin it. Right, the next issue we have while this is drying is this edge here. So this is the edge of the wing where the door shut, joins up to. Now I've got the gap right, but it's a little bit too thick, which means when you open the door, it just catches slightly. So I'm gonna measure the other wing, see how thick it is, and then I'm gonna cut this back a little bit. So 
but that's the original wing. And it measures 4.3 millimeters. This one measures 6.6 .6 mil. So we need to lose quite a lot. As you can see, a much nicer line. Now look at that. Really good line there, really chuffed for that. And again, a really good line down here. Very, very pleased. So I've just put a little bit more skim on the wing and while it's going off, I thought I'd try and get this grill off. Now I've got the stainless steel bar which goes behind it. This was bonded on with some like PU adhesive, like Tiger Seal type stuff from the factory. So I've just cut it out and I've cleaned it away with the belt sander. So I'm gonna carefully try and take the mesh out now. I don't think this is gonna be easy. I might twist it a little bit. However, it needs to be done, and I can always try and shake it afterwards. So I'm just using a plastic tool just to try and carefully work it away. And there we go, all removed. Obviously it's a little bit rusty, so I'll give it a light sand down, a bit of extra primer, and I'll spray it. But yeah, it's come off pretty well. So obviously this is just what's bonding back on the wing once it's been painted. Perfect. So what I've done, I've just gone around the whole wing to look for any little minor imperfections and I've put a little bit of dolphin glazing. So you see I've done all little circles. I've just filled all them in. I've put a little bit more here. Just, I'm trying to make it absolutely perfect. So I spend a lot of time on this. If I'm honest, on a lot of other cars, I probably wouldn't have spent this amount of time, but because it's an Aston Martin, I want it to look perfect. So yeah, once this has gone off, which it nearly has, I can give it a bit of a sand and away we go. Right, so I've gone over the whole thing with 120 grit and got the basic shape. I don't want to go too far of it purely for the fact that I'm going to obviously be scratching hell out of everything. So now I'm going to go over to the 180 grit on the block and then followed by the 400 grit and then it'll be ready for high build primer. Right, I'm very hot, sweaty and dusty, but I would consider this ready for high build now. So that's one panel, kind of done. Right, I've just put the wing back on. Um, really happy with this line here now. Just happy with the panel gaps, I've put the headlight in. It's not 100% perfect, it needs to come over a little bit more this way, but it's not bad. I just need to machine a bit of the wing out here because it's just catching. But yeah, really chuffed for that. That headlight fits better than a lot of factory Aston Martins. If I'm going to be completely honest, I've looked at loads of pictures and a lot of them don't fit very well. So yeah, chuffed. So that's another thing it ticked off the list. Just loosely put this on as well, this bar. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Obviously it needs the mesh behind it. But it instantly improves the look of the wing. Right, my wife just put my son to bed and I've had a flurry of enthusiasm. So I'm going to whip that wing back off get it in high build tonight I and mean, then I can wrap this video up because it's been long enough already. So wings off and the first thing I need to do is put some panel wipe on it and just clean the dust off a little. Right, 
right, now using a fresh bit of rag, just to go with the whole thing again. Right, so I'm just using standard 2K high build primer, U pole stuff, mix four to one, and away we go. Gun set. There we go, wings in primer. There's a couple little bits I've noticed that I've missed, a couple little pinprick holes, um, but obviously I can fill that in with putty afterwards, Pretty like dolphin glaze kind of stuff. But overall, looks really good. Um, obviously, can't do anything with it now until it dries, so I'm gonna leave it a good for 24, 48 hours before I touch it, just to make sure it's fully hardened. Excuse the sweat, I've been rushing. Um, yeah, and then that can be blocked back, ready for top coat and lacquer, which is brilliant. So this is a really convenient place, I think, to wrap the video up. This is obviously going to be a three-parter now, not a two-parter, because I still haven't managed to finish the bumper, but we'll get there, you know. These things take a while. Um, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and leaving a comment below. Um, and stay tuned for more, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.